Okay, so this video uh, is going to discuss how to do logistic regression in SPSS. I'm using the file SPSS for YouTube dash file 2. SPSS for YouTube dash file 2. Uh, so what we're going to do here is, is we're going to determine um, proficiency if a student is proficient in math based on predictor variables. Uh, so to do logistic regression, we select the Analyze command. When the drop-down menu appears, we scroll down, highlight regression, another drop-down menu appears, and you want to move over and select binary logistic, binary logistic. The logistic regression uh, dialog box uh, appears. So the first thing we have to do is select our dependent variable. Now remember, this is logistic regression, so the dependent variable can only be a dichotomous variable. Again, the dependent variable can only be a dichotomous variable. 0, 1. So we're going to pick math proficiency, 2011, and place it in the dependent box. So 0 would mean that a student is not proficient, one would mean that a student is proficient. Again, zero would mean that a student is not proficient in math, one would mean they are proficient in math. We want to predict the odds uh, based on the dependent variables of a student being uh, proficient in math. So we're going to uh, base this on uh, their economically disadvantaged, which is also a dichotomous variable, gender, which is also a dichotomous variable and their math proficiency score from 2010. So that'll control for past performance. All variables in this uh, regression now, in this logistic regression happen to be binary, uh, happen to be a dichotomous variables. However, you could include a, a continuous variable. It's just you have to know in the interpretation that you've included a continuous variable. It's best usually in logistic regression to not only have the to, to try to include as your independent variables, your predictor variables, um, dichotomous, them all being dichotomous. However, it's not, not mandatory. You can include a continuous or a scaled variable as an independent variable. But the dependent variable has to be um, a, a dichotomous variable. So once all our variables are in place, we simply select the options button and when the options window appears we want to make sure CI for exponential B is selected. This is what's going to give us our odds ratio. We click continue and we simply click OK. What we get in our output is the cases included in the cases was 1021. Um, the dependent variable coding 0 and 1 Again, zero is not proficient, one is proficient. As you can see here, math proficiency. We had 343 not proficient, one prof uh, 678 who were proficient. If we just guessed uh, their proficiency uh, just on chance, um, we would have guessed 66.4% 66 of the time we'd guess right, which actually is significant. The variables in the equation box gives us a sense of if we add these variables into the regression analysis, will they be significant in prediction? And according to this, economically disadvantaged will be, gender will not, and the math or previous math score will also be uh, significant predictors. So when those variables are included in the model, we find that we will get a statistically significant model based on our, our chi-square statistic here, the model, 604, it is statistically significant. And the model summary tells us that we can explain students' math proficiency uh, by this model, 44.7 to 61.9%. So this model explains 44.7 to 61.9% of students' math proficiency. we've increased the prediction to 85.2. So if we just predicted based on chance, it would have been 66.4%. We would have predicted correctly. 
With this model, we now can predict 85.2% correctly. The variables in the equation table, which is kind of similar to the coefficients table in typical regression, the variables in the equation table is the table that's the most important to us. And when we take a look at this, what we see here is that there's really only one significant variable, and that's math 2010. Um, the other two variables are not significant, so we really don't take them into consideration. So the only significant variable in this regression equation is math 2010. So students who score higher in the math 2010 are 1.08 to 1. Uh, chances of being considered proficient in the um, in the in the math 2011. So remember, this is the dichotomous variable. So consequently, if you were proficient in math 2010, your odds at being proficient in the 2011 are 1.08 to 1, or your odds are increased by 8.7 percent in the math 2011.